Young folks, old folks, everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door, and we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Hello, children. I'm Pastor Ted. Get ready. I'm going to read the Bible. You're going to hear a story. Today's story is about the daughter of a man named Jairus who got sick and died, and Jesus restored her to life. Luke chapter 8. Now when Jesus returned, the crowd welcomed him, for they were all waiting for him. Just then there came a man named Jairus, a leader of the synagogue. He fell at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house, for he had an only daughter about twelve years old who was dying. Well, could you imagine if you were dying and your daddy heard that Jesus was coming to town, he would run to Jesus and he would say, Oh, please, Jesus, come to my house. I want you to help my sick and dying daughter. And Jesus says, Okay, I'll be glad to come and help. But before Jesus can follow Jairus back home, something else happens. Let me continue reading. As Jesus went, the crowds pressed in on him. Now, there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages, that is to say she's bleeding, for 12 years. That's the same number of years as the little girl is who's dying. And though she had spent all she had on physicians, no one could cure her. She came up behind Jesus and touched the fringe of his clothes, and immediately her hemorrhage stopped and she wasn't bleeding anymore. Then Jesus asked, Who touched me? And when all denied it, Peter said, Master, the crowds around you and press in on you. But Jesus said, No, no, somebody touched me, for I noticed that power had gone out for me. And when the woman saw that she could not remain hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared in the presence of all the people why she had touched him and how she had immediately been healed. And Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Now imagine the daddy, Jairus, is stamping his feet and he's uh, fiddling with his fingers because time is passing, time is wasting. And then somebody comes to talk to Jairus. I'm going to continue reading the Bible now. While he was still speaking, someone came from the leader's house to say to Jairus, Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher any longer. But when Jesus heard this, he replied, Do not fear, only believe, and she will be saved. And when he came to the house, he did not allow anyone to enter with him except Peter, John, and James, and the child's father and mother. They were all weeping and wailing for her. But he said, Do not weep, for she is not dead, but sleeping. I think Jesus was joking because being dead looks a lot like sleeping. I think he was trying to cheer them up in their sadness. So Jesus says, do not weep. She's not dead but sleeping. And they laughed at him, <laughs> knowing that she was dead. But Jesus took her by the hand and called out, child, get up. Her spirit returned and she got up at once. And Jesus said, do you have any homework? I think you should go do it. Well, that wasn't in the Bible. I just added that. Then Jesus directed the family to give her something to eat. Her parents were astounded. 
but he ordered them to tell no one what had happened. Now let's think about this, okay? 12 years old, she died. Jesus raised her from the dead just like you get raised by your mommy in the morning, right? To get up and go to school. So Jairus' daughter was going to go back to her ordinary life. Jesus later on dies and is raised from the dead, but Jesus doesn't go back to doing his homework. No, Jesus is raised to eternal life. Jairus' daughter will have to die again, but Jesus is raised to eternal life and Jesus promises to raise you and me to eternal life as well. And in heaven, we will not have to do our homework anymore. So, Jesus raises his, the daughter of Jairus. And Jesus promises to raise you and me as well. Amen. Young folks, old folks, everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door and we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Goodbye, kids.